for Ramaphosa to become the president the second time, I, he will sweat for that. That I can guarantee you. He will sweat for that. Because, hey, the way this thing is playing out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you, uh, I've got another secret here. DA has been communicating with ANC prior to twenty to, to look to the twenty eighth or I mean prior to the twenty ninth of May two thousand and twenty four. I've got another secret there. How Ramaphosa will be booted out of power, even when even if he's, he becomes a president, he will be booted and he will be arrested. So I've got a letter uh, that DA sent. It was private and confidential they send it to the anc two i have uh look gregatin mckenzie showing us how ramaphosa will be arrested three i've got a video from eff plus freedom front plus how they are going to come into the picture in making sure that Ramaphosa gets arrested. But before we get to the arrest of Ramaphosa, you know that according to the DA plan, the first person to get arrested is in three months from now, after elections, is Gwete Mandash. From there, uh, not Gwete Mandash, sorry, it is uh, Paul Mashatile, the deputy president. From there, a Gwete Mandash shall follow and others if they oppose the coalition between DA and ANC. Then Ramaphosa shall be the president. But Hey yeah, guys, the way this thing is, look, the DA, DA has been planning this far too long. When Ramaphosa becomes the president, DA, look, the DA will be there, right? But Ramaphosa, when he, when, look, when Ramaphosa gets arrested, then DA gets to be the president. They get to the presidential uh, office. They too, they will take over the presidential office. Yeah. Hey, this thing, guys, they, they look, they, they, they set down and they thought about it. That's why they were busy stealing votes because they wanted to put themselves in a very good position. And I will say that without even using the word allegedly, because I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing here, uh, I'm seeing votes being squandered, and I've, I've seen a lot of evidence that votes were stolen from other political parties given to DA. Right? I have that. I have that evidence on local here. I need to pack it up so that even if they hack my laptop, they 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 will not steal that evidence. By the way, the evidence is all over as well. So on the basis of that, we now understand why DA has been power hungry. Right. I'm going to show you this. Hey, these people have planned it. And I saw that DA is power hungry. They want to get into power by fire, by force. The question that we should ask ourselves, why? So before we dissect everything, I don't know and I don't understand why are you not doing this? If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean come on, to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay on the 28th of march 2024 there was a letter that was sent by da office leader there's telephone number there's everything there in the letter that was sent right the letter was sent on the 28th of March, 2024. Uh, the heading says private and confidential. And then it says, Dear Mbalula, listen to this one. Dear Mbalula, I trust this email finds you well. Number one. And then li listen, listen. My name is Dr. 
Ivan Mayer, I am reaching out to you on behalf of the Democratic Alliance, DA. As you are aware, our party has long been committed to, uh, local, to uh, local fostering dialogue and collaboration across political lines for the betterment of South Africa. With this in mind, I am writing to propose a meeting between the leadership of the DA and the African National Congress ANC, specifically between our leader, John Stenhazen, and President uh, local, uh, Sir Ramaphosa, uh, President Sir Ramaphosa. Second, first paragraph. Second paragraph says, "We believe that there is a significant. They, we believe that there are significant opportunities for co- for cooperation between the two parties on key issues facing our country. Both the DA and the ANC share commitment." to addressing the pro, look at the pressing challenges of unemployment, poverty, inequality and corruption. By engaging in a constructive dialogue, we can explore areas of common ground and work towards meaningful solution on behalf of South Africa. If if you associate yourself too closely uh, with, with, with the enemy, don't blame anybody if people conclude that you are part of the enemy. Please pay attention when they say they will enter a d- discussions about the coalition. That thing, it has long been agreed. Do you remember the letter, uh, the, the, the secret that I showed? Oh, look, the, 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 look, the, um, the, the, look, the information card, look, del- look, delivered by EIOL. Do you remember that, that, that video, right? You need to watch that video. That video was showing us that the agreement is already there. Paul Mashatel will be arrested. And let's see if things will not unfold as I've said it. Mark the way, mark these videos. So let's continue. Uh, in a meeting between Stan Hazen and President Ramaphosa, will provide an important platform for discussing potential areas of collaboration, exploring the look, uh, the I don't know the feasibility or oh, is the feasibility of forming a coalition, look, a coalition government. We understand the complexity involved in such discussions, and are committed. Uh, look, are, are committed to approaching them with uh, openness, respect, and genuine desire to serve the interest of the people of South Africa. We are flexible regarding the timing and the format of the meeting. We are prepared to accommodate the schedule of all the parties involved, whether it be in an in a person meeting or virtual discussion. We are confident and and we are, we are certainly we are confident that a meaningful dialogue can take place. Then they say, we kindly request your assistance in facilitating this meeting and will be grateful for, for any support and you can provide a coordinating schedule and logistic. Thank you for considering our proposal. We look forward to your response and to the opportunity to engage in productive discussion with a counterpart ANC. Right? How is this important, you ask. I can today announce that the DA's federal executive has unanimously adopted a resolution to initiate exploratory talks with other parties that share a commitment to the South African constitution and to identify options for the formation of governments at a national and provincial level where no party has obtained an outright majority. To facilitate this process, the Federal Executive has appointed a negotiating team composed of Ivan Mayer, Savibe Gahube, Alan Windy, Tony Leon, and Ryan Kutsia, as well as Helen Ziller. They will facilitate this engagement with other political parties. The purpose of these initial talks will be to gather information of what 
options are available to the DA as we seek to rescue South Africa from doomsday. This talented and experienced team will report back to myself and to the federal executive, executive, where after the party will decide on the way forward. I however want to assure South Africans and the people of South Africa that the DA will always act in the interests of people throughout this unprecedented moment in our history. In all that we do, we will be guided by the DA's fundamental commitment to uphold the constitution and the rule of law, promoting non-racialism, effecting clean, accountable government with zero tolerance for corruption, and building a social market economy that creates jobs. Our engagements with other parties will also be rooted in the seven apex priorities outlined in our manifesto. These include to create two million new jobs, to end load shedding and water shedding, to halve the rate of violent crime, abolish cadre deployment, lift six million people out of poverty, triple the number of grade four learners who can read for meaning and ensure quality health care for all. My fellow citizens, for the Democratic Alliance, burying our heads in the sand while South Africa faces its greatest threat since the dawn of democracy is simply not an option. Because before all of this, we are patriotic South Africans who love this country. And that is why we will not recoil from complexity or difficult decisions. Instead, we will approach these exploratory talks with cool heads and an open mind. We will meet the demands of history in this moment with the maturity and determination to live up to our campaign pledge to rescue South Africa. Like you, I am a South African first. The people who make up the DA are South Africans first. And we have learned from the past 30 years the devastating consequences when party interests are put before the national interest. So, if you are anxious or scared about what South Africa will look like following these unprecedented election results, I want to reassure you. I too am a father to three young daughters. And like millions of South Africans, I don't want them to grow up in a country run by a party like MK that wants to abolish the constitution, which wants to subvert the judiciary, and that plans to expropriate private property and nationalize the Reserve Bank. These are the things contained in the manifestos of the EFF and MK, and they amount to an all-out assault on the constitution of our country. They will cause untold unemployment, misery, hardship and hunger for millions of our people. And allowing this to just happen will set South Africa's flag and constitution on fire, just as the DA warned during the course of the election. This will signal the end of the South African dream that we all shared in 1994 and for which many, many people paid the ultimate sacrifice to see come to reality. I want to assure you that the DA will not give up on our constitution or for a country that belongs to all who live in it, united in our diversity. Our constitution now faces its greatest test since 1994. And the moment now calls for all patriotic South Africans to step up and defend our constitution. The DA will answer the call of South Africa. And we urge all others who love our constitution and all it represents to set aside petty politics and narrow sectarian interests and join hands now to act in the interests of the country that we all love. Our country needs us now, and we cannot let her down. Thank you very much. Why are you, Bongs, 
bringing this into my attention. Firstly, it is to, it is to ascertain you that there has been a discussion between the ANC and the DA. Number one. Number two, it is to verify that, it, look, this therefore coincidentally verify the fact that Paul Mashatila is going to be arrested. Guatemantashi, if he ever opposes the DA coalition and the other members of the NEC, will be arrested. Now, we are now getting hint that the meeting indeed it took place. That's one. Two, what, 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 what we're about to discover now is that you will look at how the FF plus, the FF plus now they are, they have a part to play in this thing. Now I know you say, but how the, how is the part, look, how is FF plus going to play a party in making sure that Democratic Alliance DA becomes the president of this country? Stan Hazen in specifically becomes the president of this country. You say, Bongs, please make me understand that. What's the plan? Listen to this one. Now, have you noticed the, 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 the look, the one, uh, the, the letter from the the leaked letter from the DA. Notice there's a following one. Gaten McKenzie came, came into the comes into the picture and explained the following. He says, Step one, DA forms coalition with the ANC. Step two, Paul Mashatile Loco. Paul Mashatile charged and removed. Why is Paul Mashatile charged and removed? Right? You need to ask the question. The reason that is going to happen is that. They first gonna form the coalition. Paul Machatelo continued to be the deputy president. But in him getting charged, for what? You will then get to understand this. Three, John Stenhazen becomes the deputy president. So the charging of Paul Machatele is to pave the way for Stenhazen to be uplifted. When Stenhazen becomes the deputy president, listen to this one, when he becomes the deputy president, Right? Then he can't be the president because above him there's Ramapos. Listen to this one. Step four. FF plus brings up Palapala and CR and CR removed, and John Stenhazen becomes the president. Aha! You think I'm joking? FF plus is on record saying that. They are going to take Ramaposa, the Palapala issue. They are going to pursue it. Now, I, I know you think I'm joking. Take a look at what FF Plus said. Here. Oh, that, uh, as you said, uh, the first uh, goal we uh, maintained, but we as opposition parties must also now uh, ensure that we work together uh, to ensure that we can hold whoever the government is or the executive, that they must be accountable to Parliament. That is most important, as I said, for the first time, the ANC won't be able to misuse its majority to make the National Assembly a rubber stamp of the governing party. They won't be able to misuse the majority in Parliament, for instance, to prevent investigations against the leaders. I, for instance, will ask that the panel of uh, findings on the Paula Paula issue, he will be submitted to the National Assembly. And in that way, we as opposition parties can ensure that at least whoever the government is, that they are accountable to Parliament and accountable to the people. You can see that the DA have been a local. You can see that the DA had a plan long time ago. You can see that the DA have been planning and had, they have had sleepless night. Do you see how Stan Hazen, do you see that it's going to start like, it's going to uh, 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 look at face value, it's just going to look like just a normal coalition, right? From there, a DA is just going to play a minimum, a minimal role there. From there, Paul Machatele gets charged and then Stan Hazen gets upgraded to the deputy president. From there, Ramaphosa get charged. For Ramaphosa, it doesn't even need to get arrested. It only get charged. Because as per the new ANC law, advocated by Ramaphosa, says you get charged, you step away. So for Ramaphosa, it's very easy. You don't even have to arrest him. All it has to happen is that just charge Ramaphosa. 
as long as Ramaphosa is now officially charged, because if you look at his first term, he's been spending, he spent a lot of time trying, trying to, trying by all means to avoid being charged, formally charged, because he knows if I, if I get formally charged, then I'm going to fall by my own sword. So he's been avoiding being formally charged by fire. Oh, mother, by force. So now, the question that you need to ask is, why is the DA so interested? Why is the DA keen in getting into power? Why are they so keen to get into power? Why? Those are a few questions that we should be asking right now. But also, we must be worried about what they are willing to do to get into power. It should worry us. The extent to which they are willing to, to go in order for them to get into power. Why are they, why are they using back doors to get into power? Why not the straight door where everybody elects them as the president? Why? And Guys, we should be worried about this. It should tell us that these guys have got a motive. But what is their motive? We've already spoken about their motive. Their motives. And I've already told you, but these people, people will take time to understand this, right? And, you know, I'm, now I'm patient. I've learned to be patient. So I'm patient. You understand? I'm going to be patient with you. So when it does happen, we'll refer back to these videos. So we'll save these videos. We're not gonna we're not gonna delete these videos. We'll save them for such a time. But for to, in today's video, look in today the, the, look today's video has been so much, um, so much uh, uh, oh, of an explosive one. Let me repeat. I'm not gonna repeat the letter, but let me repeat what Gaten McKenzie says. He says, steps one, DA forms a coalition with the ANC. That's step one. Step two, Paul Mashatile get charged and removed. Step three, John Stenhezen becomes the deputy president. Step four, FF plus bring up Palapala and CR is removed and John Stenhezen becomes the president of the Republic of South Africa and DA rules. And I'll tell you this. This is going to be achieved in a, in a, local, in a space of less than a year. Because the DA does not have time to waste. They will never sit there and allow themselves to, uh, look, to, 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 to take over when there is one year left to the next election. No, they want time. Because... I want to believe, guys, that these people have got a mandate. I want to believe, guys, that these people, they are up to something. These people are up to, guys, there is something about these people. Whether you like that or you don't like that, it is about time we open our eyes. It is about time we look at matters as they are instead of being emotional about issues. It's about time we be we attend it, we face it as it is. I also want you to think of the letter sent by E. I want you to you yourself. You're gonna do me this favor. Cause consider me as an uneducated person. Consider yourself as an educated individual. You understand? Or an educated, or consider yourself having a, an educated opinion, and I don't have the educated opinion. So consider yourself that. Then educate me in these things. Why, oh look, why the DA firstly had private meetings with Ramaphosa and the Obofigil and Balul? Why? Why, uh, look, make it make sense to me. If what O'Gaten McKenzie is saying, it doesn't make sense, then make it make sense to me. Two, uh, three, it's what the FF Plus said on record. Isn't it a clear hint of what is about to happen 
in the political space or in the South African political space. Oh, that day is coming where Ramaphosa himself. Yo, you know what it tells me? Hey, white people guys are dangerous. Ramaphosa has been serving them well. But in the end, they will for them to get into power because now he's going to be the problem. What he's been doing to the other people, it is about to happen. He put Zuma to prison. He put other people, like Zandile Kumete, and you name the list, to prison. Now it is his turn. The new dawn will be experienced through him. He's been preaching the new dawn. He will be the victim of the new dawn. Because these people are never faithful to you. They are, they are faithful to what they want from you. Once they get what they want from you, then, uh, then you are useless. They remove you out of the way. They continue with their part. That is what we have had. I know, okay, uh, this virus doesn't necessarily make sense now. And I, I don't expect them to make sense now. It will have to make sense tomorrow. So don't worry. We will talk about that. Uh, we will allow these things to unfold. But when it does, we will refer back to this, this video.